point and click mechanic without pointing and clicking, a unique art style and a story involving a vending machine are all very good reasons to play Gob, which is exactly what we are doing today. So that seems to be the game. This dude is hungry. I, I suppose that is Gob, probably. That's the name of the protagonist. So point and clicking without pointing and clicking. So that means I walk up to something and then I press enter. And then I get a close-up view of it. And what now? And then I press enter again. And he does something. And I suppose with escape I get away again. There was no tutorial really. What? What you, I, I had to figure out how to use the menu first. A and D is the way to go there. Um, uh, what's that thing? Uh, nothing happens. Okay, good. What's that? Nothing happens. Good, good, good. Then uh, I kind of feel like I know this art style from somewhere, from some old game. Uh, what exactly am I looking at? The refrigerator? Won't open, okay. Then we have to find food from somewhere else. Now, can we use this wire, this rope, uh, that seems to turn on the lights? Apparently we cannot use it. So, anything over here, nothing over here. What can we do then? Uh, we can't get through the door. Uh, television, uh, do you have an idea? No, it doesn't. Okay, okay, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Can we, can we just walk through here? Yes, we can. Okay, so now we're in the corridor. Where do you know this art stuff from? Man, it's some, like, over a decade old game that has a similar style to this. I can't think of it, though. So this is his bathroom. And what's that? Uh, stuff. It just checks everything when I interact with it. Yeah, let's better close that. It uh, looks better this way. Now let's, uh, let's, let's close it. Alright. The bathtub. Uh, oh, he picked that up. A lighter! Good! I know what we're going to light up, but we have a lighter now. So that's something. Uh, nothing over there now. Okay, so we now we hold a lighter in our hands. That is good, I suppose. I, I, I like the answer, by the way. It's a little weird, a little dreamlike. But I kind of like it. And so now, could I perhaps attack with it? Uh, no, so I'm not going to set that one on fire. And um, perhaps the refrigerator? Yes, so that was frozen and now now we can open the refrigerator. And we took a can out of it. Mm -hmm. Neat, neat. So now with that can and with the fire we can certainly, no, we can't open the door. Alright, alright. Then let's see what else could we be doing. Um, This radio, whatever it is. No, we can't do anything with that. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, now I just want to interact without having anything to interact. I look at my items. That's neat. Uh, the mechanics are interesting. I like that. It's a unique touch on the gameplay. Don't think I've seen something like it before, and I'm also don't think I know what I should be doing. So I'm just going to walk into the basement again, pretending that I know what to do, and still wondering which game I know this art style from. Uh, can't do anything here. I can't do anything. I can enter with the toilet again, and uh, now we can't throw the light into the toilet. I just thought we could try. Nothing I can do here. Okay. Good, then uh, nothing down here. Oh no, I don't want to be stuck on the first puzzle again. Why does it always happen in every game? I, I think it's because each game has a different philosophy of how puzzles should work. And then for the first puzzle, I don't know what the, the, the principles of the puzzling is. And then I get stuck on the first puzzle. And after that, it's easy. It happens so often to me. I don't know, am I the only one? Does that happen to you? I'm, I'd be seriously interested. Maybe let me know in the comments and... Please, game, let me know how I progress with your story, because I don't think this is all there is to see. We haven't seen the vending machine yet, so this can't be it. Okay. Oh! Aha! I just tried to press escape, and it did something. Uh... 
So I only have three options. Game controller. Yeah. W wait, what? What what? Shift control space was D E Q what? Um not sure if that's w helping. Uh let's try out house. Yeah, well, let's maybe not switch it off. Uh let's try settings. Yeah. What's that? Full screen and windowed? Ah, full screen and windowed. Funny. That's cool. Okay, good. That's still not helping me. So this is just those are just the options. This is literally the menu. Funny. I, I like it. It's a nice menu. <laughs> but it hasn't helped me. I'm still stuck. Uh, oh, I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be stuck. I can crouch. Maybe I have to crouch somewhere? If I press Q and E at the same time, he smacks these things together. Always the same. I get stuck at the first puzzle. Then I look at a playthrough and then I think, man, how could I not think of that solution? I can crouch under the table. I totally forgot about the table because it was so... Yeah, whatever. I forgot about the table. And beneath there is something we can pick up. No idea what we're going to do with it. It's just another old can, but hey, that's something. Maybe we can open the door with that. Nope. Ah. Huh? Wait, what, what, what is that dust? Are you kidding me? If I smack it together, I get the straw? Ah! Really? Okay, I mean, there, I mean, there had to be some purpose in... in smacking them together, but... Dude... How was I to think of that? And now the straw is in there! And now... We have a flamethrower! Because this is a spray can, right? Ha! Huh? Is that it? That is it! Dude! I mean, yes, again, I, I guess I could have figured that out, but... I mean, there had to be some purpose in this grabbing mechanic. Okay, yes, okay, I could have figured that out, but... Man, it's complicated. The real puzzle is figuring out how the game even works. Okay, but I kind of like that. It's it's unusual. It forces you to think in unusual ways or watch a walkthrough of a guy who spends half an hour figuring it out and then finally gets it. That's another option, of course. <clears throat> Not that I did that. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, where should we be going? Uh, forwards or backwards? Oh, let's try forwards. Hmm. And what do we have over here, then? Yeah, a lot of garbage. Garbage. Nothing to interact with, though. But there is a door, so that's something. Ah, of course it's locked. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the right tools to open it just yet. By the way, is my spray can weapon thingy uh, gone now? Has it been used up? Was that a consumable item? It looks like it. It seems to be gone. Yeah, but it's gone. Okay. Then we only have the can now. Oh, buying that doesn't really do anything. So, what do we have over here? Darkness, but now it's lighter, brighter, whatever. So, keep going, keep going. Where's the music, by the way? There's the vending machine I've been talking about the whole time. Can someone turn up the music? Is that turning it up after all? Yes, that was turning it up. So I did turn it down before. And what's that thing? Hmm. Whatever. Alright, so I did actually turn down the music. Accidentally. Well, let's keep climbing down the ladder. I have to do that manually. It doesn't climb automatically. So that's the vending machine they've been talking about. So what do we want? Uh, do we want green, red? Light blue, not so light blue, or orange? Oh, maybe orange. It's 
So we need money, I guess. That's probably the thing missing. Okay, there's something I can crouch over here. I know I can crouch somewhere. I need to connect with something. Light up that cat candle. And inside of it is a key. Because that's how stuff works. Weird. Is the lighter gone now? The lighter seems to be gone. Okay, at least items get used up once we've finished using them. Uh, so that key was for... Oh, that key is for the door up there. I get it. Okay, so let's get up again and let's get to that door. This game is pretty weird and... I'm not, I'm not sure what you think of it. It looks like... It looks like a piece of art, really. I think that's what it's trying to be also, so... That's pretty cool, and I kind of know this art stand. I want to know where I know it from. Where have I seen this art style before? Okay, let's keep going. It's kind of interesting now, actually. I'd like to see what's behind that door. Like, I really do. It's, yeah, it's kind of interesting. A little spooky. Yeah. Ah! What happened? Light! Light! It's daylight! We can get out. There's music and daylight. Ah! Freedom! Oh, no freedom yet. I have to keep going, but at least it's bright. There's light. Nice. Good. Good. Let's keep moving. 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 Maybe say something else instead of let's keep going. Maybe. Oh, what was that? Where am I? Where's my character? Ah, he's down there. You can pick that up. A grabber. Huh? What are we going to grab, though? Wait a... Dude, get out! Escape from these catacombs, or whatever it is you're in. There's light out here! Why do you need that vending machine? And how do you get out? Ah, there we go. Dude... You don't have to be in the sewers, just just get out of here. Just there's light up there, there's plants, there's there's beauty, there's Oh, maybe stay down here. Okay, now we can hopefully get some food now that we have all these nice things. Oh wait, now we could be able to reach the thing in our house that was up in the bathroom and I should sprint. Yeah, now we'll be able to reach that one. Haha! Let's do that. There we go. And there we have money. So now we can pay for the vending machine. Haha. There we go. Nice, nice. Nice. Good, good, good. Then let's pay the vend let's pay for the vending machine and then off we go. Let's climb down, let's climb down, and then have we finished the game already? Is that everything? I wasn't what? expecting- ah! Ah! What happened? Ah! Ah! What, what just happened? Why did you trip over? Okay, uh, weird. But alright, then, then all we have to do is get this grabber again from our house. And grab this thing, and I wonder what we have the can for. Wait, should I have put the money inside the can by combining them? And then I wouldn't have lost it, and now the game is screwed up? No, certainly not. That would be that would be too weird. The grabber has disappeared, though. I mean, I have to say, this game has a unique art style, and... I have to give it a lot of credit for it, but gameplay-wise... I'm not sure if I'm all that convinced, because the puzzles... I don't know, it's just a bit cryptic, and I guess that's what it's about, but... It... I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, okay? I, I'm not gonna judge this one, it's... maybe it's just me. Maybe everyone else figures this out in no time, and it's just me who gets stuck the whole time and has no idea what to do. Uh, but... That is a problem for me, but I'm, I'm not gonna judge the game for it. Maybe it really is just my problem. So now, my problem... How do I fix it? How do I solve it? How do I get out of here? 
Ah, should I get... Yes, that's it. We have to get into the supper level sewers because for some reason they are... Why are they even sewers in the sewers? Um, we have to maybe jump into the toilet of this... Dude, this sounds so weird. This can't actually be the solution, but maybe it is. Uh, what else could we interact with it for? So, maybe... Okay, forget it. Perhaps this is the end? Is that the message of the game? There's no escaping from the sewers? It's just it, we're, we're stuck, like maybe that's the point, we are stuck and there's no solution. We can't get out of here. We've lost our money and that's it. Perhaps? I don't know. I said I was not going to look at a playthrough, but if I don't do it now, I'm just going to give up and that will be even more boring So for a video to watch, so... I'm just going to look at a playthrough just so I can show you the ending and uh, hopefully... That's the last time I have to do this. And then I see the solution and I think, why didn't you think of that? And the sad thing is, I actually thought about looking at these symbols on the side over here. But I thought, these symbols are nowhere else, so I don't have to pay attention to them. But, they are on the vending machine. So, maybe that is it. Those are not the symbols, are they? Oh, sorry, also we have a peanut, snake, circle, circle with stuff, and lines. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a trident. We don't have a trident, so I suppose that's the symbol that is broken. So trident, circle, peanut, line, circle, circle, snake. Trident, right again. Trident, circle, peanut, line, circle, circle, snake. Trident, circle, peanut, line, circle, circle, snake. Trident, circle, peanut, lines, circle, circle, snake. Press the button. Ah! It worked! It worked! Yes! I thought I was going to get the food. Okay. Then not. Then not. Then let's crawl through here. Let's keep crawling through here. So I guess, I guess I'm starting to get what the puzzles of this game are about, though. It's about... It's about, um... Observing the environment and that's a neat concept. I'm just too stupid for it apparently. Oh, that's the end of the game So don't get another chance to prove that I actually can solve these puzzles and don't have to rely on walkthroughs um, Yes, so uh, that's kind of an embarrassing result for me However, it's a good result for the game I think because even though it took me ages or it would have taken me ages to figure it out had I tried I, I just had no clue I just Maybe I'm just too stupid for puzzle games, but whatever, I think this game was still pretty cool. The art style was unique, and I still want to know where, why it is familiar to me. The gameplay, yes, that was uh, hard for me to figure out, but I think it was good, and if I had a different mindset, it would have been more capable of figuring it out, I think it would have been a lot of fun. So, well done. This is a nice little game. If you enjoyed it as well, please give this video a like and maybe share with anyone else who's been struggling with vending machines. If you want to be the first to know when I go into the series again, you should subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.